Hello, I'm Captain Vile. Uh, recently, Batman Arkham Shadows trailer just came out, and people have been analyzing all the frames and even easter eggs as they tend to do when trailers come out. And it seems to take place after Arkham Origins and before Arkham Asylum, and Harvey Dent before becoming Two-Face, and Harley Quinn as she becomes Harley Quinn, possibly, seem like possible side missions with Ratcatcher as the main villain. But being that it takes place between Arkham Origins and Asylum, I immediately thought, how does this affect the Riddler? Because he was in Arkham VR, so he's probably going to be in this in some way. And in Arkham Origins, he was Enigma, not the Riddler. And he was the Riddler in Arkham Asylum. So they could have him, like, declare himself the Riddler and abandon the name Enigma, and then have Batman be irritated that he has to deal with him again. I'm not sure if they're going to implement, like, Riddler trophies or what the general gameplay of this game itself is going to be. But last time you dealt with Riddler in VR, you were doing, like, matching puzzles. You may say it's unlikely for him to be in this game, but but just like there being some document that declares Harley Quinn having to be in every single piece of DC media, I suspect that there's some secret law at Rocksteady that means they have to put Riddler in every single Batman game they make. At least I hope it happens. It'll be really funny to see how Batman reacts to meeting Riddler for the first time, despite the fact they have already canonically met. Anyway, thank you for watching. Good while.